The price of Bitcoin is up 70 plus percent here in 2023, but something is coming in 2024 and 2025 that historically has been great for the price of Bitcoin. We're going to talk about why that is, and this is the Bitcoin halving. And a particular analyst out there, a very well-respected one, predicts that Bitcoin could reach 100000 between the years of 2024 and 2025. Now, if we remember back to 2021, the top of the last bull cycle saw Bitcoin go all the way to 69000 It's currently trading right above 30000 just briefly touching over 31000 here in the last 48 hours. To start the year, however, we were sitting at 16000 So a lot of people now saying that the bottom could be in for Bitcoin. We could be in now for some consolidation or some sideways price action until we get closer and closer to the next Bitcoin having. All of 2022 was very interesting because Bitcoin followed the overall market very, very closely. But something different is happening here to start 2023. Bitcoin is starting to what they call decouple away from the stock market and starting to be a standalone asset. Why this is? Well, Bitcoin's getting bigger and it's getting more respected by institutions. That is proven by the fact that the United States government is the fourth largest holder of Bitcoin uh, and many other institutions hold Bitcoin as a reserve currency. But let's dive into what could be coming up here in 2024 and 2025 and what this particular analyst predicts will happen to the price of Bitcoin. So it says here that Dan Tapiero, founder of DDAP Capital, made his prediction during a podcast with Scott Melker, who's the host of the YouTube channel, The Wolf of All Streets, a huge YouTube channel. I've, I've watched Scott's channel. It's awesome. According to uh, Tapiero, Bitcoin's price could move sideways for the rest of this year, having established a low toward the end of last year, right, right around uh, December. He pointed out that Bitcoin's price bottomed when perceived negative developments failed to pull it down. In fact, we actually saw Bitcoin's price rise while the stock market was crashing and banks were failing. Instead, the price continued to rise, climbing above previous resistances to trade above 31,000 at the time of this writing. So while all the bank failures are terrible to the traditional system, it was maybe a good thing for Bitcoin because people look at it as a alternative asset class, right? Well, if things aren't happening well over there, what else can I do with my money? Maybe I can put it over there into that Bitcoin thing, right? Maybe I should do a little bit more research and see what's going on. Tapiero's prediction suggests that Bitcoin's rally toward 100,000 could happen after the next Bitcoin halving, which is scheduled for this time next year, April or May of 2024. Now, let me refresh your memory if you're not familiar with what a Bitcoin halving is. After the network, the Bitcoin network mines 210,000 blocks. Roughly every four years, this takes place. The block reward given to Bitcoin miners for processing transactions is cut in half. So what does this do? This is called the halving because it cuts the rate at which new Bitcoins are released into circulation in half. Supply and demand, less supply, more demand. So it now has a 1.77% inflation rate, does Bitcoin. This means that after each halving, the value of Bitcoin increases. Historically, it's always happened. Every halving event has historically resulted in a bull run for Bitcoin. So if history repeats itself, the bottom could be in. We could be you know, ready for some sideways action, some boring times here, months, right? But as we close 2023 and enter 2024, that's when things could gear up. Again, if history repeats itself, not financial advice, right? We don't have a crystal ball, but we're, we're using fundamental analysis here to, to put together a thesis. The price rises as supply decreases, causing a demand uh, for Bitcoin. So if you look at the last few having cycles, okay, it happened once in 2012, okay, and you could see the price on halving day, the actual day that the halving happened, the price of Bitcoin was $12.35 back then. <laughs> Imagine getting into Bitcoin that low back in 2012. Then the price 150 days later was $127. Not a bad return, right? A 10x. How about 2016's halving? The price on halving day in 2016 was $650. Price 150 days later, $758. 2017, 
How about the halving in 2020? The price of Bitcoin, $8,821. Price 150 days later, $10,943. So again, this is only 150 days later. There's a lot of fluctuations in the price of Bitcoin. Historically, there's been huge, huge boosts in the price when you look at it holistically right across the board they're taking a snapshot here and showing what the price increase was 150 days after the bottom line is the price has increased every bitcoin having and if 2024 is like 2020 and like 2016 and like 2012 we should see a boost in the price of bitcoin as we look to enter a new cycle that's the thing with crypto it doesn't really necessarily follow the traditional system we've always moved in these four-year cycles that's why it's an asset class in and of itself right and when we look at bitcoin the price of bitcoin and and really just we look at crypto overall but a lot of that is bitcoin right the crypto industry has grown by almost four times in the past four years the crypto market value increased from around 300 billion dollars total a lot of that was made up by Bitcoin, roughly 50%, right? And then Ethereum comes in with a large chunk there too, right around 15 to you know 20%. But we were at 300 billion in 2019, 300 billion in 2019. Now here in 2023, it is a $1.7 trillion market cap. And by the way, we went from 300 billion in 2019 all the way to over 3 trillion in 2021. Obviously we're back down here in 2023, but still looking at it holistically, over that four-year time frame, we have 4 x the crypto market as a whole. So again, this is uh, hopefully you know some good signs to come for the price of Bitcoin. And I think a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin is very, very feasible when we look at you know post uh, next Bitcoin having. And I'm not the only one who thinks that. Obviously, way you know people way smarter than I do as well. So let me know what you guys think down below here in the comment section. Appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you.